I'm sorry if you've heard this one before, but the cheetah is the king of fast. At its best, a cheetah can run over 100 kilometers per hour. By itself, this is an incredible feat. But what I find even more incredible is that the cheetah is able to be standing still one second, and three seconds later, it's running 100 kilometers per hour. Most of your high-end cars require between four and six seconds to do what that cheetah does in three seconds. And with this quick analogy, we can get to the meat of this lesson, acceleration. Acceleration is the rate of change of an object's velocity. Remember, velocity is how fast an object is moving in a specific direction. So, acceleration measures how fast the velocity changes. We can calculate acceleration if we know the total change in velocity and the time it takes for the velocity to change. The equations are average acceleration equals change in velocity divided by change in time. Change in velocity equals final velocity minus starting velocity. The units for acceleration are meters per second squared, but something else is required. Acceleration, like velocity, is a vector quantity. This means that you need to specify the direction of motion as well. This could be a compass point like north and east, or a simple description like right or left or up or down, depending on the question. In addition, acceleration can be positive or negative. If a car, for example, is traveling in a straight line and its speed increases, the acceleration is positive. If that car slows down, its acceleration is negative. I want to pause for a minute here to clarify a couple points. First, in everyday usage, acceleration has come to mean speeding up. If you press on the accelerator in your car, the car's speed increases. Acceleration has a slightly different meaning in physics, though. The definition specifically mentions a change in velocity, not speed. Remember, velocity has a direction attached. So if the direction of travel changes, the velocity changes, even if the speed remains constant. Picture setting the cruise control in the car at 40 kilometers per hour and driving in a circle. Speed is constant, 40 kilometers per hour, but velocity changes every time you change direction. Since velocity is changing, you can calculate acceleration even though the speed is constant. Acceleration is not dependent on a change in speed. The second point involves the term deceleration, commonly used to mean slowing down. The term deceleration is not commonly used in physics. Instead, deceleration is more often called negative acceleration. Remember the cheetah from the introduction? Let's use what we just learned about acceleration to calculate the acceleration of the cheetah. We know that the cheetah has an initial velocity of zero kilometers per hour because he's standing still, stalking his prey. When he's ready to attack, he can reach a speed of 100 kilometers per hour in three seconds. First, we need to convert kilometers per hour to meters per second. 100 kilometers times 1,000 meters per kilometer equals 100,000 meters. One hour times 60 minutes in an hour times 60 seconds per minute is 3,600 seconds. 100,000 meters divided by 3,600 seconds is 27.8 meters per second. The cheetah starts with a velocity of zero meters per second because he is not moving. He begins running west after a gazelle and reaches a maximum velocity of 27.8 meters per second west in three seconds. Average acceleration equals change in velocity divided by change in time. Average acceleration equals 27.8 meters per second west minus zero meters per second divided by three seconds equals 27.8 meters per second west divided by three seconds equals 9.3 meters per second squared west. This means that for every second the cheetah is running, his velocity increases by 9.3 meters per second. Since he is increasing his speed in a constant direction, west, this is positive acceleration. The directional term west is required because acceleration is a vector. Let's look at another example. A driver traveling north at 90 kilometers per hour in a zone with a speed limit of 40 kilometers per hour sees a police officer. The driver slows to 35 kilometers per hour to avoid getting a speeding ticket. It takes eight seconds to slow the car down to 35 kilometers per hour. What is the acceleration? 90 kilometers per hour equals 25 meters per second. 35 kilometers per hour equals 9.7 meters per second. 
Average acceleration is the change in velocity divided by the change in time. Average acceleration equals 9.7 meters per second north minus 25 meters per second north divided by 8 seconds. Negative 15.3 meters per second north divided by 8 seconds equals negative 1.9 meters per second squared north. In this case, the car is slowing down so the acceleration is negative. Acceleration is the rate of change of an object's velocity. Acceleration is a vector quantity requiring both a magnitude and a direction. In addition, acceleration can be positive if the object's velocity increases or negative if the object's velocity decreases. Remember, acceleration is not dependent on a change in speed. Velocity changes if the direction of travel or speed changes. Even if the object is moving at a constant speed, the object can be accelerating if the direction of travel changes. The equation to solve acceleration problems is average acceleration equals change in velocity divided by change in time.